we should move on to lesson three, which is on Microsoft Word program. Now, Microsoft Word program is a program that is installed in our computer, and this is mostly used for typing Word documentation. Now, Word documentation can be letters, can be reports, can be memo, or anything with a lot of weddings. Yeah, we type it in Microsoft Word. Yeah, now Microsoft Word is part of Microsoft Office Suite, you know. So this is a package that you install inside your computer. Yeah, now with that, within that package, you find a lot of other programs like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Database, Outlook, and so on and so on. So it is, this is really part of MS Office Suite. Now, how do you open Microsoft Word? You go to the Start button, uh, bottom left of your computer. You select all programs. Yeah, like I said, it's part of Microsoft Office Suite. So you select Microsoft Office. Yeah, and then you select Microsoft Office 2010, Microsoft Office Word. You know, they come in different versions. You know, we've got 2003. 2007, 2010, 2013, you select the one that is installed in your computer. Okay? Like I said, with everything that you are going to open in your computer, a program, an icon, anything, would actually appear in a Windows format. Now, this is a window for Microsoft Office. Yeah? This top part here, from there, from there, from here, up to there, this whole part is called the ribbon. Yeah? Now, on the ribbon, we find the topest part here, where it's written in document four. This is actually called the title bar. The title bar in the sense that once you give your document a name, the name will appear here. Like in my case, the name is document four. Okay? And then the next part here is called the menu bar. Yeah? Here where you find files, edit, view, format, what, what. This is actually called the menu bar, you know, in a sense that you have got different types of menu where you select from. Below the menu bar, we've got the toolbar, yeah? The toolbar, this is where you find the different tools that allows you to format your Word document. Now, the toolbar is actually determined by the menu. If you go to file, you find different tools. If you go to view, you find different tools. If you go to format, you find different tools, and so on and so on. Um, this is the ruler. Right here is the ruler. Yeah, this actually allows you to measure where your type, where your where your typing and where where your typing begins and where it ends. Right here, this is a scroll bar. Yeah, this is your scroll bar. It allows you to go up and down your document. Like I said, with almost every window that you are going to open, you you are most likely to find this three buttons, the close button, the maximize, the restore, and then the minimize button, yeah? And then at the bottom here, you find the status bar, okay? Right here, you know, the white area, this is where you input your data, this is where you type, okay? Uh, yes, this is just what I have explained, you know, so these are the different areas, or these are the different tools that are found in your Microsoft Word, and they are just explained here. Okay, now you saving a Word document, yeah? Now, if you wanna keep everything that you have typed, or if you wanna keep record of everything that you have typed in your Word document, you must always save it, yeah? Otherwise, if you're typing a document and then there comes an abrupt power failure, you, without saving your document, you won't be able to retrieve everything. So the save is a very important tool that is actually used so that you can retrieve or you can get hold of your document the next time. Okay? Now, the saving has got two crucial um, uh, buttons, yeah, or two crucial functions. We've got the save and then we've got the save as. Now, the save is usually used when you save an existing document that you have been editing, yeah? If you're typing a document or you save it, if the more you add information to it, you keep saving it. Now, the save as, you know, the save as command is actually used when you're typing a document for the first time, yeah? When you're typing a document for the first time, 
for you to give it a name and for you to save the location. Like I said, there's so many locations in the computer. Now, for you to give a, your document a name, yeah, and for you to select the location where you're going to save it, you must always use the save as command. Yeah. How do you enter text in uh, Microsoft Word? You must use your mouse. The mouse is an in essentially an input device. You must click at the place where you want to insert the data or to type there. And then once the, you have got your cursor blinking, there is actually the insert point. You can actually start typing. Yeah? For you to delete text, you can use a space bar on your keyboard. The one with a backward arrow. The backward arrow, if you press on it, it will actually delete letter by letter. Or if you want to delete the whole word or the whole sentence, then you must actually highlight by clicking your mouse, left click, and then you hold down your button and then you drag. You highlight and then you press the delete button. Another function that is actually found um, in Microsoft Word, or basically in all, in, in Microsoft package uh, is the undo is the undo button yeah the undo button is actually used to revert back to where you were to the previous state where you were yeah so if for instance by mistake you deleted a sentence you highlighted and deleted a sentence you can actually undo revert back and then this sentence will actually um, come back again so there is actually the undo button or a shorter way of doing it, you press Control and Z. This is a shortcut for doing it. Okay. Other features that is actually found in Microsoft Word is the spell checker. Yeah. What the spell checker does, you know, if it recognizes, if the computer does not recognize a specific word that you have typed, yeah, if it doesn't recognize the same English word, then obviously it will actually underline it in a red wavy line. That means there's actually something wrong, yeah? So what we do with the spell checker, you go to that word, you right click, and then you'll be presented with different options of what is that you could have, that you wanted to say. And then you click on the word that you wanted to say, yeah? So basically the spell checker gives you an opportunity for you to correct your words in your Microsoft Word document, yeah? We spoke about the cut, you know, we spoke about the copy, we spoke about the paste. It works the same here. Yeah? If you want to copy, if you want, when you cut something, you move it from where it is to another place. If you cut a paragraph, you move it, you move it from where it is to another place. So it doesn't appear at the old place. The copy, the copy makes a copy of the paragraph and place the copy somewhere else within the document. The paste, this is a function that is actually used to put something at another place. Yeah, the drag and drop using your mouse. Say, for instance, you've got a picture in your Word document. You want to move it to another place. You can simply click on the copy, you hold down your mouse, and then you move. And then you put it at the place where you, wanna, you want it to appear. There is a drag and the drop. Yeah, other features that we find um, in Microsoft Word um, under the home menu, we find the, the font. The font, um, the font formatting, yeah? With the font formatting, you can change the color of your letters, you can change the size of your letters, yeah? You can also change the alignment of your paragraphs, yeah? Alignment as in how do you want your paragraphs to, to be aligned, you know? We've got a left alignment. With the left alignment, your paragraphs are equal on the, or they're aligned equal on the left hand side with the right alignment your paragraphs are aligned or equal on the right side with the center alignment your paragraphs are equal from the center of the paragraph and then we have got the, the justify with the justify your paragraphs are actually aligned on the left and on the right and this is regarded to be the neat uh, type of alignment yeah we've got the indention icons We've got the numbered and the bullet listing when you've got, when, when you've got points that you want to, highlight, to outline in your document, you must always use the bullets, you know. Um, the shading, apply shading when you want to apply a specific color 
to a specific paragraph or to your whole document, you use the shading. Um, you also find tools such as underline, the bold and the italize. Yeah. You also find um, the tools such as the font type, if you want to change the way your letters look like, and the case, whether you want your letters to appear all big, to appear all small, uh, to be to capitalize each word and so on. These are tools that we, also, that we find under the home menu. Yeah, Under the insert menu in Microsoft Word, within your document, you can insert a picture, you can insert a shape, you can resize this picture, and then you can resize this shape. Yeah, You can also insert a table. Yeah, Or you can draw a table yourself. Yeah, On this table, you can insert more rows if you want, you can insert more columns if you want, or you can delete the rows, you can delete the columns if you want. Yeah, you can also make this the rows bigger, or you can make the, the rows smaller or bigger or whatever. Yeah, within the insert menu, you can also insert a text box. You can insert a word art. You can insert symbols. Yeah, if you're looking for a specific symbol that is not on your keyboard, you are most likely to find it under insert under symbols. You can also insert the headers. You can also insert the footers. Yeah, in the page layout menu, you know, within the page layout, you can change the page margins. You know, you must def you define where you want the typing to begin, your sentences to begin, and your sentences to end. Yeah, you can change the orientation of the page. Yeah, you wanna make it landscape, or you wanna make your page um, portrait. You can also insert watermarks for you to define what type of document that is. Yeah, you can also change the page borders. You know, if you want to have a box border around your page, you can also change your page color. If you want your page to appear in pink, red, or whatever, you do it under the page layout.